Well, welcome guys, and welcome to another episode of The Vault. Today we have Chocobo's Dungeon 2. Released for the PlayStation 1 in 1999, developed and published by Square. This was, I believe, one of the first instances of the roguelike genre, though I could be mistaken about that. You go through randomly generated dungeons that will change every time you go through it, though enemies, the enemies you face will be the same in each area. You'll, fa you'll level up as you defeat foes, and while searching around you can find items, spells to cast, and equipment to arm yourself with. If you're defeated while in a dungeon, however, you'll drop all the items you're carrying, and you'll be taken back to town. I, I think eventually later on you can buy storage space in town, where you can store, store your stuff in case you do end up dying. But uh, yeah. So you play for the game as a chocobo. Your friend's a fabugal named Mog who takes you to go treasure hunting in dungeons. The pair do get separated, but you'll eventually catch up with him. Mog is a partner or character that will assist you in dungeons. You'll also get two other partner characters as you progress, a white mage named Shiroma, uh, and an inventor named Sid. Of course, Sid. And Shiroma is a funny name, because I think that basically just means... It it's close enough to sounding like white mage in Japanese. So it's probably just meant to be a pun. Anyway, let's start a new game. There we go. So, I'm not really a big fan of roguelikes. They've never really appealed to me. This game seems neat, though. I've only, like, just played, like, the tutorial at the start. Okay then, Mog. Uh, so his his default name is just Chocobo, but. If I were to name him, I would probably name him... Boko. After Bart's Chocobo from Final Fantasy V. Okay, so it really just throws us right into it. Now, um, you see that 100% in the top right corner there? It slowly tri trickles down to, like, zero. And I think once it hits zero percent, like, I think the game calls it, like, the Grim Reaper or something appears to, like, instantly kill you if it catches you, I think. Oh boy, tasty food. Yeah, why aren't you leading? Tch. Okay, fearless leader, Mog. So yeah, uh, it is turn- uh, this game is also turn-based, so enemies are also moving whenever you move. Oh! But, um, your partner character, whoever it may be, in this case it's Mog, will also assist you. Sometimes. Level up. Hmm. 
I think those are all the items I have. Yeah. Yeah, get a mug. Alright, so that leads back to the start. Yeah, as you can see, the enemies only move when you do. A swelled nut. There is also item crafting in this, but I have no idea how it works. I have no idea what these cards do. Alright, now these are spell books. These will cast, if you use them as an item, then it will cast whatever spell it is, uh, pertains to. In this case, arrow and fire. Oh! So these are definitely useful to have in a dungeon. There's the way down. Nothing else. An oily tonic. Weird. That's cool, you can save between floors. Huh? Oh, so monsters can level up in this if they defeat other monsters. Goblin becomes a dark goblin. Never beat it! That's quitter talk. Oh, I guess we will never beat it. Because we're dead. That's nice that he restocks my other stuff. Alright, so yeah, now the dungeon's completely changed from what it was earlier. There's the exit. A torch, but I don't have anything to light it with. He stole something. when he spins like that, he's getting a critical hit. Oop, another level up. Good. Alright, 
pack one. We can go down to the next floor now. Cool if we could find some equipment for Chocobo here. Gotcha. Ooh, a quake book. And then what's this? Just saw an enemy go that way. Saddle. Ooh, some good stuff there, I think. Oh, well, we can equip that. Firebuck. Oh, you need one of these things to be able to save that staircase as I see. What, was I supposed to use that or just hold on to it? I, I'm not really sure. There's a lot going on over there. So the map card is useful, the only thing is, like, now I can't tell where I have and haven't been. idea what that does. Oh, uh, well, let's go down. Just have to go diagonally. These map cards don't seem terribly valuable, since they seem to drop a lot, so it probably doesn't hurt to just use them. I 
tasty tonic. Whoa! Oh, so that's what that does. That's Dispel Tonic. Okay, well, we're figuring out what they do now. <laughs> Boing. Oh. Sleepy time. Man. That's better. It'd be cool if we could find some claws for Choco for Chocobo here. That would help out a lot. Hey, speaking of which... Easier to get a critical hit. Hell yeah! And we just got wood claws too. Hold on. An attack of three. An attack of seven. Holy cow. There's the exit already. Ah! Black Mage! Uh-oh. Ow! really hurt. Well, we just got a drain book, so if we see another enemy, let's use it. Ow! Now we're kicking butt. Kinda.
Oh, the energy restores the, uh... The percentage thing in the corner. I see now. Oh no, that's not good. Based on it, nice. Stairs were close by. <laughs> Boko. Nice. Good job, Mog. You ejected us from the dungeon. She's a white mage, if you couldn't tell from her attire. Kinda cute. not just any old bird, he's a chocobo. But yes, this is Sharoma, the white mage. Stinky tonic. So then, there we have it. We're back at, uh, we're out back outside, and now we have access to the world map. So you can take a nap and save and recover all your HP. Looks like the only real option is to go back into the dungeon. Well, I think this will be a pretty good enough showcase of the game. Um, I think once you get past, I think you have to, after exploring the dungeon again, you get access to the town. So then there's like a shop, and then there, like I mentioned earlier, there's also a place where you can buy like storage units. Though it is kind of pricey; it costs a uh, gill to rent. But um. It's a it's a cute little game for roguelikes. It, it seems like pretty e easy enough to get into. I just don't really know how the crafting works because I think you can use crafting to make your equipment better. But um, yeah, it seems like a neat little roguelike RPG.